Then a second point is that I think it's fairly urgent for the researchers to come to a consensus about whether these big chatbots like GPT-4 or BARD un actually understand what they're saying. Yeah. Um, there's clearly some people believe they do and some people believe they're just stochastic parrots. And so long as we have that, those differences, um, we're not going to be able to come to a consensus about dangers. Yeah. And so I think it's sort of urgent from, for the research community to address this issue of whether they understand or not. Yeah. And I think both of us believe they do understand. But people we respect a lot, like Jan, think they don't really understand. And it's crucial to um, resolve this issue. And we may not be able to come to a consensus about other issues until we've resolved that issue. Yeah. One of the challenges of the term understanding is um, not show us the test for whether a system understands. Um, uh, and, and I think that my view is that I believe the large language models and other large AI models are building a world model or building something that looks a lot like a world model. So my gut is that I do believe to the extent it's building a world model is conveying learning some understanding of the world. Um, but that's just my current view. Uh, and I think this is, as, as, as you say, Jeff, one of the topics that um, if the research community discusses and debates more and has a shared understanding of, I think this would be one of the questions that if we have alignment on this, it will probably cause us to, to reason in a more consistent way and may, maybe get to better alignment as a community about the AI risk as well. Right. And one aspect of this is the idea it's just statistics. And we all agree that in some sense, it has to be just statistics. All these things have is the statistics of their input. But many people who think it's just statistics are thinking in terms of things like trigram models or counting co-occurrence frequencies of words. And it's not just that. We believe that this process of creating features of embeddings and then interactions between features um, is actually understanding. Once you've once you've um, taken the raw data of symbol strings and you can now predict the next symbol, not by things like trigrams, but by huge numbers of features interacting in very complicated ways to predict the features of the next word and from that make a prediction about the probability of the next words. The point is that is understanding. At least I believe that is understanding. I believe that's what our brains are doing too. Um, but that's an issue to be discussed by the research community. And it would be great if we could convince people that they're not just stochastic parrots. Yeah. And I think that there are likely a set of questions of which whether AI systems really understands the world that is leading different people to then quite reasonably come to different conclusions um, about the types and nature of AI catastrophic or even extinction risks. And I think uh, coming to better understanding of whether AI understands will be one of the things, probably some of the questions as well that we're laying out that will cause us all to maybe come to more similar conclusions as a community. Yes, that would be good. <laughs>